Well, hello and welcome to my channel. I'm John. This is the QSP Copperhead 109A, as it's called, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. And but we'll just zoom out a little before we do that. This is uh, not a very well-known brand, but I know uh, they are available both in uh, in uh, Europe and in the US. So I think I can do a review and it's uh, available or obtainable for most of you. As we can see, a thumb stud knife. This comes in at around um, 49 uh, euro, which would be around 55, 60 dollars. As we can see, it's uh, not a small knife. A lot of these uh, Chinese brands of service are quite big usually and this is no exception but let's start as I usually do um, at the blade we have a more or less ordinary drop point but it has got a lot of belly which I like quite a lot and then uh, it has a flat grind um, which is quite nice and then a little bit of a stone washed um, uh, a stone washed flat surface on uh, up here around the thumb, thumb stud thumb stud is a little bit in the cutting path, path which I don't like very much and uh, a little bit of I'll show you there is jumping but it is unfortunately rather non-functional and uh, yeah then the QSP logo on the blade not that prominent which is nice in my opinion I don't like the billboarding going to the handle uh, G10 handle a little bit of a colored accent around the pivot screw here which is and I'll try to get it to focus there's a there's a Torx uh, uh, place for a Torx bit on this side. I do believe that there is free spinning pivot, which is of course not that good. If we go down the handle, we see there's a, a bit of chamfering both on top on, and in the bottom, and we have a bit of a curve here and just looking at it we know those of us who have tried something like this before that it is economically people gonna suit most of us quite well because it is a very uh, yeah, suitable suitable curve for most people to grab onto lanyard hole at the butt end here at the butt end and of course the, the hardware which of course is standard 6 torque 6 move it around not a very deep carry pocket clip unfortunately but uh, yeah they're not the only ones not much room under it which is not a good thing but uh, yeah again they're not the only ones who can make a pocket clip that actually works and it's been my pet peeve through a great deal of videos but it's still an issue and then of course the same accent on the other side so the, the orange or red accent and the Torx 8 pivot screw in no way a light knife or a small knife but a very decent knife indeed my size but uh, I have also sort of uh, drifted towards smaller knives but I like this one I still like this one quite a bit action which is something I value a lot on ball bearings ceramic ball, ball bearings no lids and uh, as we can see very very smooth with, which gives it a nice nice action and um, it's a more or less drop shoddy and the fun stuff are very easy to make look good in a video but it really is easy and it flies out as i said big knife 
pick and hand and uh, this curved handle fits every hand very nicely so it is good in hand no real hot spots reverse cut or uh, reverse grip is nice too you get a little far down the handle because of the because it that makes uh, it more comfortable uh, with the, the clip on the other side draw cut really nice as well this, of course also because of this very smooth straight uh, yeah straight but uh, curved handle that has no um, special chamfering for fingers or anything so all in all very nice knife this brand is uh, rather new and uh, I suppose some of you may not have heard about it QSP uh, they say on their very entertaining homepage I think it is a Chinese uh, homepage translated by Google so a bit entertaining they say QSP is for quality service and price and their motto is better knife better life and I can only encourage you to go to the website and read their, their sort of statements uh, it is quite funny when you when you see something in, in uh, that translation so do that <laughs> you might be uh, entertained a little bit very good knife I can definitely recommend it if you like a big strong knife this is not the, the worst thing you can buy you can see very very beefy liners and that of course gives a very beefy liner lock indeed and um, lock up is what should we say for 30 30 percent i think let's look at the blade centering very well centered and as i already told you this is a knife in the um in the $60 range so um, a ton of good knives in that range and uh, they just come in and uh, compete with best tech and uh, yeah some of the cheaper artisans and a lot of brands CVV even and uh, they do compete very well I think they have their place but uh, it is a very very crowded spot they uh, price-wise that they put themselves in and with this I don't think I can tell you much more that will I can just ramble on but my videos get too long so with this have a nice day evening whatever it is in your country bye bye